the front and back pieces are only 55 inches and that's because we're going to have a storage container that's going to be um, accessed from the outside and I already got the doors for that and that'll be the additional length of the bed will be those cabinets so part of the mattresses will be laying on top of those cabinets the storage units and then the rest of it most of the mattress will be laying on the plywood that's on the surface of this box so this is the size of the box that's it as far as um, the main box for the bed so I'm gonna assemble it without glue right now and then bring it out there to the van the box van and put it in there and see how it fits I also have these pieces that are going to go along the top. This is where the board that the mattress is going to sit on will be, but these are some extra support on the sides. And so I got those for the ends and then I got the longer pieces cut. So I'm going to use some Unistrut to brace some braces right here and still get some flex for the mattress um, to the board and the mattress. If you don't know what Unistrut is, this is the Unistrut of which I speak. So those are the two pieces of Unistrut that's going to go across, not exactly there, but close to that positioning. So the next step is to measure these so they're evenly distributed and then cut this out so it's inset. Cut this piece of wood out so it's inset. Um, and I'm using this as a small little template to draw my line. So that's the next step. Once this is in, and these are gonna be removable, so I don't wanna bolt them in or anything like that. Once this is in place, these two, dry fitted, then I can go ahead and take it out and put it in the box, and you know, the box band, and make sure it's gonna um, fit okay, and make sure it's square and all that. And then we can go ahead and build the storage container that the storage unit that goes on the side that will be you'll be able to enter from the outside of the of the box so you'll see that in a little bit this in place and then I've added that plywood piece over there underneath of that other rail to help support the metal rails are going to go across so.
So here's the bed set up in couch mode. It's pretty comfy. Now to put this in bed mode, all you gotta do is I just take off this decorative cover, which is also a blanket. Slide this out. You can see that's just a board on top of the box. This is the box that we made. It's right here. This slides out to here. Then you can push that board back. This goes down. So this goes down on top of the cleats that I built. Just made out of plywood, stacked plywood, glued together. And that's what supports the board that slides out that makes it a full-size bed. Pull the mattress out. This mattress doesn't come right out because I got the sheet wrapped around it. So we have this cut at an upholstery shop, so it's two pieces. It's the same uh, mattress that we have that we pull out as the extension, but this one's been cut down. So here it is, laying flat. And this just slides into place right back here. But that's it. So here's how it turns into a bed. Now to get under the bed, to get to the storage. There are two boards. That one, and you got this one. It's actually easier you can pull this board out to the front. Slide this to the back. And I do like to take this mattress off because it makes it much easier to move. So you can stand this up. And actually just taking that one mattress off makes it much easier. And so here we are. Got storage down there. I had firewood down there. That's why there's all those wood shavings, those pieces of bark down there. We keep our spare tire down here. Vacuum cleaner, some, some extra canned goods. It's a lot of space down here. Um, the plan for the future is to keep our bicycles in here. The box that we made was only 54 inches long. This mattress is 74 inches long. Actually, 73 inches long. There's an 18 and a half inch storage con container that makes up the remainder of the bed. Okay. And that is actually an external storage compartment. I'll show you that. So we have one of these compartments on each side that really come in handy. This one is at the head of the bed. This one is actually under the bed. And that's the compartment that I said was actually part of the bed box itself. Plans for the future might be to put a door where we can access that under the bed storage area right here. So that's how we built the bed. I know there's a lot of different ways you can do it. The internet and YouTube is, is uh, filled with ideas for making beds for van life. I mean, this is van life, box van life. Um, we, there's some things we'd probably change on it. Like if there was a way to make it lighter, that would be helpful. But that's why we're gonna add probably that access door on the exterior. So we'll have another cargo compartment and that'll be under the bed. We'll be able to store both of our bikes there. 
The spare tire that is in there now is going to be on a frame underneath of the truck so it won't even need to take any interior storage space up and that's what that's you know future plans we'll work on that later anyway this has been greg with fit for expedition i hope you're getting something out of these box van build videos i haven't done one for a little bit it's been it's been probably several weeks since i put one on the channel um please leave a comment let me know if you have any questions about what I'm doing on the box, uh, how I'm making the bed, or any of the other videos, let me know if you have any questions. I would be glad to answer them. Also, uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And also, also, be like the Fonz and give this video a big thumbs up. Hey. Hey guys, if you like the videos that we post here on the channel, please hit that subscribe button. If you like this particular video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to leave a comment, that would be great, because I will definitely get back to you and share these videos with your friends if you think they would enjoy them. This has been Greg with Fit for Expedition. See you next time.